Where you they since? No say we they like gist. Come here, gist. Come, come, come. May I gist you? Continue. <laughs> things they happen. No, you go there your house. Eh? They imagine say the things happening around you is like crazy. When you hear stories, you know, pack and come to my estate now. You see what is happening. Okay. When you hear stories of what is happening in other people's houses, you will start thanking God for your own situation. <laughs> see what thing that happen. The characters inside this story is the husband, the wife, and the wife's sister. <laughs> you know they say as if they go, you know they go pew, spiritual. <laughs> okay. Now, see what happened. The wife of this man has finished his, um, university. Actually got married in her year two. So, by the time she graduated, she already had two kids. <laughs> now, now she's going for youth service. And you know, youth service usually starts with that first one month of camp that they do. The man has been, you know, discussing with the wife. What are they going to do? They have tried several house helps. They will bring house help. See that that one steals, or that one they, they will go and do tests. That one is not um, has one disease or the other. Or the last one that they told me that they did, the woman got pregnant. The store owner on the street, somebody where they sell kiosks for that street, impregnated the girl. So as at that time, they didn't have any house help. Right now, they were discussing how to handle it, and the woman decided to bring her younger sister to that house in order to take care of the children cook in the house and do some of those stuff while she goes for that one month uh, camp that they usually go for all right <laughs> Chai. now this younger sister is a friend of mine when we're in the university so i know her very well so one day she now called me and said that this thing that she's going for, she has visited the house before. That that her sister's husband is always looking at her, it's always eyeing her, it's always trying to make a move. You know, women, women, eh? Before you start thinking that you want to do, <laughs> they already know that that's what you are thinking. All right. So she already told me that she believes that this man no go give him breathing space. All right. However. She cannot say no. The sister has no other option, no other person, no person where they want to send, right? So she agreed and went. <laughs> that same evening where the, where the uh, wife left the house, that was the same evening. The man now went to the room of the girl and started gisting with the girl. It's something that he rarely does. The pressure mounted so much for one week, no breathing space. She couldn't dress normally. She go wear trousers, you know, with the little tap bum bum and stuff like that. Until she succumbed. He shot you! First we hear of this. From what I understand, the man promised to give her money. And she succumbed. And the man did. And since that time has been doing. She now called me. What is she going to do? Hi. Because at that point now, if she tells the sister for the fact that she's already doing, the sister might not believe her. If she tells the parents, the parents now tell the sister, in fact, it's going to cause problem all way round. It will affect everybody, small, 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 you know? So that's basically what happened in the house. As at now, the wife doesn't know. It's just me and you that knows now. All right. So the reason I'm telling you is that how is she going to handle this situation? Because what I told her was, can you confide in your mother? I didn't say your father. If you can confide in your mother, you tell your mother. Two of you should plan how to, because I know they like enter inside family matter. I'm not going to mediate with any person because that man can easily say one thing. And the wife will believe the man and everybody becomes the enemy. Chai! Because if the wife doesn't believe the man, maybe it will cause problem for you. Mm -hmm. Problem, don't they? Chai! And at the same time, they will start blaming the younger sister. You are the one who came and broke up my home. You know? So, I told her to confide in the mother. But I'm not sure. I haven't had that kind of situation before. You know I'm a good person. Now. 
So I haven't had that kind of situation before. What is she going to do in this situation? Be in mind, she don't do. Oh my God. But see, eh? I don't know whether I can talk this thing. If you see that girl, Kai, what is this girl carrying for waste? Is something else. Chai! So before you start judging that man, consider that the lady in question carry something for waste. Kai, fresh, fresh, fresh Ludo. I'm serious. Um, I'll go to him no, no. If you can, go to the comment section and engage. If you engage, the gist go the sweet. So that if I see more gist, I come and tell you. But if you don't engage, in God's day, I say, I just sit down, they talk, they talk, they talk. I go post them. Nothing, nothing, you know? So if you watch and have advice, you engage. Somebody might learn from it. I might learn from it. And next time, you see the comments from somebody else that will learn from you. So... All these stories why they just you. Man, I can't tell you the truth now. All these stories why they just you now. Now, real life story. However, I'm going. I'm going to fictionalize it. I'm going to, you know, make it. There is God. Impersonal. I'm not going to mention any names. I'm going to twist the stories. Um, change slight things inside that, but leave the moral or the the crux of the the crux of the gist. But now real life experience, things that happened, some of them happened to me a few years ago um, over the course of my life, even though I keep narrating that it happened in my estate. It's not all of them that happened in my estate. But just for the purpose of this storytelling to go well, you know, that's why I narrate it that way. So whenever I narrate a story, it's actually a real life story that I turned into a fiction. So your advice helps everybody. So if you have advice, comment. So the more I read it, the more I understand how other people see this thing. Because my perception of these stories is like, this is why, this is crazy. How is it happening? Because I was never brought up in a situation where I had to face those kind of things. So when I see or hear of stories like that, I'm like, are you serious? It happens. You know? So I really appreciate it if you engage with this so that I can learn from it. And some other time in future, you will like, in fact, under the same comment, your opinion might differ from somebody else's opinion. And you might see some points or reasoning in what the person is saying. You get? So, comment. How is she going to handle this situation? The, he don't do with the man. It was actually the man that pressured because I, she told me before it happened. However, nobody will know now. So, how are they going to handle it? You don't know. You don't know why it's going on. <laughs> yeah, don't get back to work. I'll come and read the comments later.